In this video, we're going to talk about how to book more gigs, but more importantly, we're going to talk about what you should have in place before you start approaching these people to book more shows. My name is Rick Barker, host of the Music Industry Blueprint Podcast, former manager of superstar Taylor Swift. And if you like these videos, if you like to get educated on what's going down inside the music business, right below this video, I want you to hit the subscribe button. So too often I see artists, they'll come to me, my, whether they're my management clients, whether they're someone that I, that I meet and they'll say, Rick, I, I need to book more gigs. I'm like, great. How many shows are you currently playing? They're like, well, I haven't played a lot of shows. So that's warning sign number one for me right now, because the venue is going to ask you that question. So what I would do if I were you is I would start utilizing social media lives. Do you know that you can play every single day on Facebook that you could play every single day on Instagram? Those count as performances. You need to perform more. You need to get on stage, find open mics in your area. The way to get more shows is to have other people talking about how great your show is. So if you don't have a show yet, or you don't have original material, don't put yourself out there too quick. Don't go out and start asking to be the opening act if you don't have enough material to cover the song. But start using social media as a way to do your live shows. Another one that's really good are open mics. Get comfortable in front of a crowd. Have fun. Go do karaoke. I don't care. Do karaoke if you need to do karaoke. But you need to put yourself out there. Okay? A lot of times we'll sit down and... Uh, with all the artists that come into my world in management, we sit down and we say, okay, what are our goals for this year? And sometimes they'll say, man, I want to play 100 shows. I'm like, great. How many did you play this year? Well, I haven't really started playing yet. I'm like, then why don't we play 10? You know, we have to start somewhere. One thing to get better if you're a performer, if you play the instrument, is every day I would encourage you to... Play in front of the mirror. I did this with Taylor. I did this with Nick Fradiani when he was on American Idol. I'm like, dude, you need to go sing in front of a mirror. If you take five songs and you play your instrument, you sing your songs and you do it in front of a mirror, that day you just had your instrument practice, your vocal practice, and your performance practice. You need to see what it is that you look like. You can also go out, and someone asked me this yesterday, and it's going to be a podcast episode, hire a live music producer not a performance coach okay this is not what they are a live music producer it's someone like tom jackson uh someone who he's going to be able to walk you through the process teach you how to create moments in your show uh i'm on uh on success.com that's tom's we'll make sure it's below i may be off on that one but just look for the link in, uh, below hannah will make sure that we get that in there but Tom Jackson you know Amy who works with Tom they're live music producers they've got some great free material you want to create something that's compelling so work with a live music producer you don't have to accomplish everything on your own but a lot of times you want to go out and book more shows but you haven't even really performed any shows yourself so just because you hear other people say well that's the next step in the process is to go out and book more shows you want to be able to book more shows then you want to be able to tell they're gonna ask you some questions I'm going to give you those questions. We'll shoot a whole nother video on this. But the questions they're going to ask is, how many tickets can you sell? If you've never played a market, how do you answer that question? You're going to need to show them the people that you have. That's where Spotify for Artists comes in handy. iTunes comes in handy. Your Facebook demographics, your Instagram demographics come in handy to understand how many people are that are in the market. Uh, also, too, it's like they may ask you a simple question like, what is your rate? Oh my gosh, they're asking me about the money. I don't know how to talk about the money. Understand what it is. In-town shows, 500 bucks. Out-of-town shows, $1,000. How do you determine how you figure out your price? There's a little bit that goes into that. Uh, first and foremost, what are your expenses? And then how much do you want to make? Okay, so that's that's a whole other video itself. But this is one of the questions they're going to ask you. What is your rate? Do you have references? When you have played at another show, see if you can get some so like a, somebody to say, hey, I loved when Rick's band played here. They were awesome. The play, place was packed. Everybody was drinking. A lot of fun. No problems. Go ahead and get yourself references. 
But the best thing you want, might want to do is follow the other bands in that area and start following their fans. Start letting them hear your music and stuff so that way you're kind of known in the area. Maybe reach out to those bands, see if they ever need an opening act or maybe if they'd like to gig swap. If you're trying to come into a market that you've never been in before, maybe you offer them a show in your market, they offer you a show in theirs. But there's just so much that goes into this. It's like, I, I, it's not gonna be easy for me to just sit here and create one simple little video. But what I wanted this video to be was something that just kind of got your, your wheels turning. Got you thinking, okay, what kind of questions are they gonna ask? Do I have the answer for that? If not, how do I go get the answer for that? If I haven't played a lot of shows, how do I play any shows? Well, if I'm not old enough to get into a bar, how can I perform? Well, we can use social media. We can do Instagram lives, Facebook lives. A lot of this we talk about uh, inside Social Media for Music. Uh, it's a free training that I do where I also walk you through how to monetize your live stream. So, hey, if you're doing a live stream from your house and you're making money, there's no expensive expenses, that's a good thing. So I'll teach you all that information below this video. Give me some ideas for other topics that you would like in the comments below. While you're down there, also hit the notification button, get notified whenever I go live. I hope this wasn't too confusing for you, but it's a very confusing subject and there is no one size fits all answer. I wish there was. So let's go out and make yourself a better person so that you can become a better performer so that people can see you on the stage. All right. All the info from this video is below. I'll talk to you on the next one. Ciao.